Yesterday's Labour Force survey figures which show that unemployment has risen past the 25% mark have sparked a war of words between Kusatu and the DA. And consulting engineers of South Africa have greeted the resignation of Sanrel CEO Nazir Ani with sadness. I'm Richard Brooks with your news. Yesterday's Labour Force survey figures, which show that unemployment has risen past the 25% mark, have sparked a war of words between Kusatu and the DA. The DA's youth wing claims jobs are not being created because Kusatu has stopped government from implementing a youth wage subsidy. The party's youth wing's Mahashula Khana. They've been blocking the introduction of a youth wage subsidy at Nedlek. And uh, we see a youth wage subsidy as one of the mechanisms that can be used to alleviate the unemployment challenges. At the same time, Kusatu has denied some economists' allegations that bureaucracy is strangling smaller companies. The Labour Federation's Patrick Craven. A lot of the so-called red tape is in fact laws which uh, have been introduced to protect businesses from each other. Consulting engineers of South Africa have greeted the resignation of Sanrel CEO Nazir Ali with sadness. Chief Executive Graeme Peary says under Ali's leadership, the agency has produced and maintained an impressive network of roads. Ali announced his resignation on Tuesday. The agency says he will stay in his post up until the 3rd of next month. The agency's engineering executive, Kur Smith, will act as its CEO when Ali leaves. Ali's resignation comes just over a week after a judge put the rollout of the Gauteng e-tolling system on hold. Police Minister Natim Tetwa says the task team that he's put together to investigate allegations around a letter that controversial crime intelligence boss Richard Mdluli apparently wrote to him is set to begin its work. Yesterday, Mtetwa announced that Mdluli had been shifted to another division within the South African Police Services pending an internal investigation. Mtetwa made the announcement during a debate on his budget vote in the National Assembly. I have instituted a team led by the state law advisor to investigate such allegations because they are so serious as to suggest the meddling of policing function in politics.